class you will be learning reflection of light and loss of reflection and also we will be learning new terms like normal incident light ray reflected light ray angle of incidence and angle of reflection come on tell me i am visible to you obviously yes do you know why because of light because of light i am visible to you but can you see air here it is also there but you can't see air though there is a light do you know why you are able to see me because one of the property of light called reflection because of reflection you are able to see me and i am able to see you whatever the things around us we see only because of reflection property of light let us see what is reflection when light falls on any object it bounces back that property of light is called as reflection why you can't see air because when light is passing through air there is no reflection from the air molecules the light rays are simply passing through air there is no reflection that is why we can't see air now let us consider surface here and a light ray is falling on the surface this light ray is called as a incident light ray this light ray is called as incident light ray after falling on the surface the light ray is bouncing that means it is moving away this light is called as this light ray is called as reflected light ray between incident light ray and reflected light ray a line is drawn which is called as normal this normal is used to measure angles here the angle between the normal and incident light ray is i called angle of incidence and the angle between normal and the reflected light ray is called as angle of reflection so angle of incidence i angle of reflection r this property of reflection is having many applications in daily life one of the application is dressing mirrors when we are coming to school before coming to school we stand in front of the mirrors and we dress up and doctors dentists can also see into the part of the teeth by using the phenomenon of reflection so reflection is used in daily life almost every day and also the phenomenon of light that is uh, reflection of light we use in science and technology especially in defense in the periscope here the second part loss of reflection loss of reflection there are two laws of reflection the first one is stated that incident light ray reflected light ray normal they all lie in same plane and the second one is angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection now we will see this one angle of incidence equal to angle of reflection with the help of small activity dear students this is a laser light so here you can see only a spot but you can't see a complete light ray in this position also you can't see a complete light ray only you can see a spot now let us see complete light ray just observe here we can able to see the complete light ray why because the light is getting reflected from the water molecules now let us see reflection inside the tank there is a mirror there is a mirror now i am making the laser light to fall on the mirror you can observe you can see incident light ray as well as reflected light ray two rays clearly you can see let us measure angle of incidence and angle of reflection just observe here i am focusing the light on the mirror at some angle for example 60 degrees you can see that the reflected light ray light ray is also at 60 degrees now i am changing the incident light ray direction so now i am making it to fall on 70 degrees you can observe the reflected light ray is at an angle of 6 70 degrees thus angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection this proves loss of reflection hope you have enjoyed the activity and understood the concept of reflection 
let us sum up the class. Reflection of light means bouncing of light when light falls on any object, it bounces. And the second point is about the loss of reflection. There are two loss. The first one is incident light ray, reflected light ray, and not one, they lie in the same plane. In the second law, angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. So that we have seen practically also. Hope you understood the topic. Thank you. Thank you.